This is a video now on how what I call free stationing. Uh, some people call it like to differentiate it, but I'm going to go through the two ways you can station mainly freely on a job site if you have zero CAD file whatsoever. So if you're doing an as built, if you're doing offsets and you don't need a CAD file for whatever reason, let me show you what to do. So first thing under project, you see how I have these projects on here. Let me delete this one so I don't get you guys confused. But basically under projects, in order to do this, you will need a blank project. And what that means is a project without anything in it. This project obviously has control points. It has a job. If I open up the project, it has a CAD file. I can't use that. So what I got to do, and just to give you an example, if I go to stationing and I try to station on a building line, for instance, it's going to say I need an empty project. If I need to try to station on this free stationing, I'm going to station, I need a station on an empty project. That's, that's all I mean. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a project and I'm going to make it, I'll call this uh, building line first, to give you the example of building line first. Uh, I don't need a project description. Building line, no control points, nothing, and I enter it and it's completely blank, right? So let me go ahead and jump into stationing and let me show you what a building line is. Now I'm connected to the POS 180. Uh, let me turn my laser on. I'm actually connected. This is not using an emulator. But I'm going to show you what this function does here. This function you might use on occasion, but this is mainly if you have the 180 position directly over a point and you're measuring on that line it's over. That's what this one is. I'm going to mainly focus this video on this right here and then on this right here. So if I'm going to station over a building line, I'm going to tap building line, and it's very simple. It says measure first point, and I'm going to get up. Real quick, let me measure that first point. I'm in a little room here, so I'm going to measure it. My laser's pointing at a wall. And it says it's successful. Now, the reason I, I'm not showing you any cameras because actually the 180 doesn't have a camera. It has a joystick thing. Let me show you what I mean. So I have a little joystick thing that I can move it like this. But let me go back to the screen. And now it's saying measure second point. So you can see my BL1 is measured here. I'm going to measure my second point. All right, I just moved it to the other side of the wall. I'm going to say measure. Okay, and it's as simple as that. All right, so I have two points. Now, I could measure a third point, and to explain that briefly, if, if I had, uh, let's say, let me close this out real quick. If I had a line here, and I wanted for whatever reason to move the zero, zero of this line somewhere in the middle, but that zero, zero area is covered by a column or something, I can measure a third point, like way out here, for instance. And what that will do is it'll say, okay, this is where I'll put the zero, zero of the line instead of down here. I don't need to do that. Typically, you won't either. Just measure two points. I have my line. BL1 is your zero, zero. BL2 is whatever, however far north of that. So let me open up this back up again. Now, I could just say check here and move on, or just so I, I help you understand what this is, if you needed to, you could shift your zero, zero of your line with using one of these. Because remember, in building line, all you're doing is offsets from this one line. So what that means is, because this is your zero, zero, if you want to be doing calculations in your head from this zero line, either right to the left, up or down, you can. But if you know that the zero, zero you measured is maybe 10 feet behind the point you actually want to be taking your measures from, you can adjust your line by saying on the line, I'm going to shift my line 10 feet north. Oops, not 70, 10 feet. Say enter. And you see what happened? Let me close this out. All right, so it moved BL to BL, I guess, prime. Okay, so BL 1 and 2 were here and here. And now I moved it way up here, and now the whole line shifted for me, okay? So my zero, zero moved 10 feet forward. Do you see that? Okay. Uh, I can also offset it, so I'm going to just keep it simple here. Let me turn that off so you understand what that is. Put that back to where it was. Now, or I can move the offset, and this is pretty self-explanatory. Let's say I need a five-foot offset on this. I say enter. Oh, actually, you can't even... 
won't even show you because it's uh oh it will okay good bl1 bl2 five foot offset it's just showing you that that's where the new line is going to be if that's what you want to be your zero zero and then height you can do it for height as well and just for kicks and giggles i'll show you what rotation looks like you can rotate this on a 45 90 whatever you want and it's just showing what the new line is going to look like so there's a lot you can do with this if you think about it uh you're building line one to two and you can rotate it shift it whatever you need to do let's say that you have uh well, I'll get into it, but this is the original line. But let's say I don't want to shift my original line, because you can shift all this later. So I'm going to keep this all at zero. I'm going to keep my building line exactly where it is. I'm going to say check. It's going to bring me to the screen. It's going to say, okay, here's your two points. That's how far away the first one is from the second one. And I believe I have my stage, my heights on. They are on. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I give it a height, and I'll just use the ceiling of this room. So I'm going to go to heights, set my own manual height, and my benchmark height is going to be zero. Because I'm using a POS 180, it's asking me for my instrument height. I always keep this zero unless my benchmark height is literally on the ground right underneath my, my station, but it's usually not. So let me just move this to the ceiling and press measure. Okay, so I'll say measure right there is on the ceiling. So the ceiling is my height of zero, which means that my station height should be negative. Right? So this is basically saying that my station, the station coordinates, are located here according to the building line, but also four feet below my benchmark. That's all it's saying. So I'm going to say check, and now I'm in. So I'm stationed on my building line. I can now go to my draw tab and look at my drawing. Okay, And that's exactly what it looks like. This wall here, by the way, is just the, the wall in this room. Now I can really quickly, if I wanted to, use this function to draw a line to make it look nice and pretty. BL1 to BL2 and say check. And now I have that line so I'm not confused. So now that I'm in here though, right, so I have a line and what do you do with the building line? You mainly just pull offsets. And remember how in the previous screen in stationing you could set your, your benchmark or what I call your gospel line to be whatever you want. Once you have your gospel line set to where you want to pull your offsets from, you can still come in here, oops, you can still come in here to line layout. So you can still come to your line. Here's your line. And you can say, okay, I want to, I'm on the measure tab now. I want it to tell me where I am on the line no matter where I move my laser. So I'm on, the, I have my laser on there. Let me move it a second to a specific spot on the line. I'm just gonna move it and you're gonna see it change. All right, so I just moved it to the left a little bit, and it's telling me where I am on my heights. Now, why, why is the heights? There we go. This is good. I'm going to explain what this is in a second. Um, so good. Whenever I move that, these, these points are just going to tell me automatically where I am located on the line. If I move over here so you can see, let me close this out. It's also giving you a visual of where I am. Let's see. It's taking a second to load. Okay, there it is. So here's my line, and my laser is shooting right at the top of that of the ceiling, but right way over here. And my offsets are six foot ten and so away from the first zero zero point of the line, and it's five feet off of the of the zero zero of the line. So now let me go over here and explain these numbers a little bit more. So when I, because I have points of line checked, that means that I can't come in here and select where I want the tool to turn yet. Right now I'm just doing my own checks. I'm turning the tool to where I want to turn it. I want it to tell me where I am. Now, down here where it says height, remember, I'm on the ceiling. And the first question you might ask yourself, hmm, if you're on the ceiling where you measured your benchmark, why is it telling you that you're seven foot, seven inches and five eighths, sorry, seven inches and five, seven and five eighths inches above your, your, your hot benchmark? Like, it doesn't make sense. Well, what you didn't see is when I measured my line, Point one and point two were not necessarily straight. They might they were maybe on a slight slope. But not to mention that you have the choice on this machine to give you the height relative to the line, meaning regardless of the slope of the line, as long as you're on the line, you can read it the height at zero. So here I'm gonna move it right back. I'm gonna not check absolutely high, I'm gonna move this right back to where I began. One second. All right, 
it's oh maybe it was a little lower. Okay. Okay. Uh, close enough. I was right around there when I first started my first point. All right. Let me see. My minimum zero zero basically. Yeah, close enough, right? So I'm basically where I began my point. I'm not on the ceiling, and it's reading me negative two and a half inches because that's relative to where the line actually is. So the best way I can think about this, let's imagine, let's think about doing a parking garage. Let's say your slope is going up like this, right? Up like this. Your relative height would be zero as long as you stayed on that slope. As long as you stay on that slope, your relative height is zero, right? That's what that means. But your absolute height, let's say your benchmark height is down here at zero, right here is zero. As you go up, obviously your absolute height is going to change. So that's the difference. When, when this is not checked, it's giving you your relative height to your line only. When absolute height is checked, it's giving you relative height to your actual benchmark. So right now I'm about a foot below the ceiling. Let me move that back to the ceiling. Okay, so I moved it, I just quickly moved it back up to the ceiling, and now my height is at an, an eighth of an inch. If I go back to relative height to the line, I'm actually nine inches or so above the line. I hope that makes sense. Leave in the comments if you have questions, but that's basically what that's saying. So I'm on this measure tab. You can't see it, but it's highlighted gray. I'm on the measure tab. This is checked, meaning I can't change these parameters, but it's telling me all the information I need to know about where I am. Okay, oh, and down here you see absolute and relative height information. That's really nice. I forgot about that. Okay, so let me uncheck this now. And now it gives me the option of saying, okay, tell me where you want, me, want to move according to the line. So I'll say, okay, take me three feet away from my zero, zero. And take me, uh, yeah, negative one foot. Negative one foot means to the left of the line, which is where I am, negative one foot away from my line. So L means north of your first point. O means your offset to the left or the right of the line. So once I type those in, it automatically moved for me. Oh, my height, I should say zero technically, right? My height is zero because I want to be on the ceiling. And I'm going to give it a second to move. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but that clicking is the machine trying to turn to the point. And now if I close this out, you can see that is where the point is, right there. Now if I want to save that point, I can just press my measure button, right, measure button. And now I saved it as MP1 if I so choose. So I can name that point here. It's telling me where it is in relation to my line. I can put on a layer and add an attribute. I'm going to just keep it the way it is and say check. So now let me close this. Let me go back to my, just my draw view. You see that? See what I just did? So now I'm basically starting to create an as-built. Okay, so let me just go back in here one more time. Let me maybe measure one more point and then show you what the Create tab does. So I'm measure, let me, let me move it now four feet down the line, and let me maybe get a three-foot offset. Not, no, I need, need it to be negative. There it is. Now let me wait for it to move. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's moving on the ceiling. I'm waiting for it to settle. And there I am. Now this net, up, down, 1 16th, I mean, that's close enough for me, but that's just the offset of the ceiling to where I measure my benchmark. Let me measure that point, and I'll save this as MP2. And I'll say check. MP2 is done. So now I'm going to go back out to my view, MP1, MP2, done. Okay, last thing here, just to not be redundant, this Create tab allows you to shift your line. So let's say you didn't shift it the way you wanted to shift it before. You can come in here and shift it again, just like you did on the previous screen. Your line, offset, and height. You can shift the zero, zero of the line and rotate it. So just to give you an example, I'll shift my line, 10, offset I'll make it uh, 3, and it's what it's doing is it's shifting your line like that. And the reason it's shifting it down instead of up is because of the orientation of the line. If I come back in here and select the line, 
Let me restart. If I tap the line... Oh, it's using your original building line. If this is a coordinate graph system, you could tap that line and shift the orientation of which way you want it to go. But I think that's gonna, enough to get you started. Um, just play around with it. And honestly, I think your, your, your self-awareness of what you're doing is going to kick in and you're going to be able to go, go crazy with it. Now, let me show you one more thing here. So remember, I told you I was going to show you two free stationing options. The first one was building line, which I just showed you. The second one is free stationing is what they call it. Let me create an empty project because remember you need an empty project. I'll call this one free. And now let me open up free. And I'm going to go to stationing and now I'm going to do free stationing. It's this easy. I'm going to click it and it's going to just put it at a random coordinate. This is good if you just want to take general field measurements. So I'm going to say check and now those are my coordinates. Now the only thing I'm going to say about this, let me show you the coordinates real quick. All right here's my coordinates. The only thing I'm going to say about this is sometimes this height is not what you want it to be. And if that's the case, you can very easily go back and remeasure your benchmark height. Let me show you how to do that. You go back in here, go to stationing. Instead of doing anything else, you're just going to go to here to set your height, set your manual height. I'm looking at the ceiling. I'm going to measure it. Now the ceiling is my zero height for all the points I'm going to measure in the future. I'm going to say check. So if I come here, let me go ahead and go to layout. I'm going to go to this measure and record button. And let me go ahead and just measure the point I'm looking at. So you can get an idea of where I am. Okay. Let me zoom in. So there's my two points. Remember, the station was at like 380 height, but I needed to adjust the height to this. If you look at my numbers. Sorry. My first stationing was here. I reset the height to here. And now that MP1 is on the ceiling, kaboom. I hope that makes sense. So you can literally go through here and have a lot of fun, but I don't think I need to go through too much with you. Come in here, use measure and record, and just start marking points, naming them whatever you want. So I hope that helps, and I wish you luck. Leave me questions, have, ask questions in the comments.